So uh, we have two more uh, scheduled speakers, one Dave Vandelman, and then a surprise speaker. If he or she should choose to speak, we'll, we'll let that person decide after you say a few words, David. Bill, thank you so much. Uh, it's just a privilege to be with everybody. It's, it's difficult to overstate just how much talk and Audrey, Audrey too, of course, meant to my life, my career, my self-image as a journalist, but not only myself, but to generations and more of journalists. None of us would really be the same person. The body of our work would not have been as rich nor as comprehensive, certainly lacking whatever humanity we brought to it without Top. I first stumbled on Top, or should I say he stumbled on me, in December of 1968. Top had recently become foreign editor at the Times, following an already brilliant career as a foreign correspondent, as we've heard from so many of us. Uh, tonight, he was looking for an eager young man to become his news assistant in a new program designed to get younger correspondents overseas to leaven the foreign report. Top hired me on the spot, and for the next 14 months, I learned what it meant to be both a gentleman of the times and of the world from a master of both. Uh oh, and that every foreign correspondent had to have his Rolex GMT master and his Burberry trench coat, which I quickly acquired as soon as I was able to afford them. At, at any rate, when I eventually made my way overseas myself, I asked Top how I'd know or how he would know if I'd succeeded as a foreign correspondent. I, I still recall his reply. If at the end of your tour in a particular region, your readers can feel that they have lived there with you, experienced your experiences, felt as you felt, had an intimate sense of the texture, the hopes and dreams and aspirations of the people whose lives and civilizations you're chronicling, you will have succeeded. You must always carry each of your readers on your shoulder so they can see and feel and smell as you do through your eyes and ears and sensibilities. These wise words guided and motivated so many times correspondents. I remember and adored Top for this and for so much else. Bill, thank you for letting me say a few words about what Top's meant to me for a half century or more. Thank you, David.